Now, I think, I think, is this Trader Gator? Do we got Trader Gator or is it an imposter? I don't know. Let's find out. Hello? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, I was muted. Oh, well, you got to unmute yourself. See, you're doing what I do. You're fucking up the audio. I fucked up. See, that's what I inherited from you. Rand got the Rand got the uh, the honor of being the the next Jimco merchant. Michael Alberto got the documentaries. Me, I got the not making content for six months and being muted on stream. Well, see, here's how this is set up for me with Google Meets. I'm learning as I go here. Um, I have a list of a hundred fucking people, and I can't move off the list. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just and it's it's just showing it's like do you want to let him in or not let him in and i was like okay that's fine but if i want to move off the list i have to choose to either deny everyone or let every single person in at the same time yeah meets isn't set up particularly well i i don't think they thought this one very very well through no i don't think they did um now have you been um well fuck i mean let's let's shoot the shit a little bit here um, it's been an interesting year uh, for you. I mean, you've kind of, you know, moved on. You're doing your own thing. Um, as Ralph kind of descends into madness, what's your take on that? Well, I think that to really start with it all, um, before this, he was crazy. But there was always that level of he was able to kind of pull himself back before he just completely shat everywhere. I think that he suffered some sort of severe brain trauma in Portugal. And I think that's just kind of set the stage for the absolute shit show that we've seen this year. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd agree with that. I think he did take some actual uh, brain damage in Portugal. Um, and I think that it uh, accelerated him kind of being unhinged. Now, what's your, your take on the, I've heard this is a conspiracy theory, but uh, people said the reason Ralph wanted to do, move to uh, Mexico uh, was for the literal poop water, <laughs> that, that this was like a sexual thing for him. And that like, this was his ultimate dream is like, he's got shit on tap. Now, would you agree with that? Or do you think that's just uh, a login? Well, see, we call it Montezuma's revenge, but he calls it Montezuma's gift. Right, because he's been given the gift. I mean, I, I, I oh, oh, and then what? I guess I also, like, what's your take on the whole Salvo thing? The Sal, like, I don't think I've seen an internet collapse that fast since, ironically, Flamenco. Um, you know, you had a guy that, I mean, he basically made his career destroying Flamenco and then turns around and he's like getting into piss play and age play with Repsion's ex girlfriend. Oh, I mean, see, like... that's that's what I wanted to look up. I'd heard uh, like the piss play thing. I could find the um the chat logs on, uh, but somebody said there was age play too, and I I don't know which way that went. Did Salvo want to be the little girl, or was the other chick the little girl? Well, see, that's what I could never figure out. Uh, <laughs> who who wanted to be who? Um, I'm just gonna assume that Salvo wanted her to be the little girl, but I, I mean. Who knows? I mean, we've already got him begging women to drink piss for him while he jacks <laughs> off in the background. So, I mean, hey, anything could happen here. Uh, now, somebody said that his like, I didn't know he was married, but somebody said that um, his wife left him. Are they joking or did he, his marriage actually blow up over this? That's what Keemstar said, that his uh, his wife apparently left him. Now, there's no telling whether or not she gets to keep the Nintendo Switch like Anthony Birch's ex-wife. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be crazy. Like, if this is all, if this all comes out to be true, like these logs are all true and all this shit's true. Um, yeah, because he came on the scene, right? Um, started kind of getting popular, got a show with Keemstar. And that was like two months, right? And now we've got chat logs of drinking piss and age play and his wife is leaving him. Like, that's a pretty big blow up. Well, I'll tell you where he fucked up is he accepted the invitation to Ralpha Mania and then the curse struck him. Oh, was he going to go to Ralpha Mania? Yes, he was going to go to Ralpha Mania literally the day before all this stuff leaks out. He's like, yeah, I'm going to Ralpha Mania, and then all hell broke loose. Oh, good old Ralph giving the gift to everybody on the internet. Hey, Smagichan, I, hey, I was right about the demons all the time. I uh, know, he's infested with something. Like, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, um, <laughs> I don't, it's like some demonic spirit is circling around Ralph and going from person to person. I'm not sure exactly what's up, but... Um, yeah, reading those, uh, like, the screen caps earlier with uh, that Morris put out about, like, the him hiding in his truck. <laughs> is the place hiding is from infested. the mold monsters from Resident Evil 7. Right, from the mold monsters. That was pretty great. Oh, man, can we get a Resident Evil 7 gunt mod? <laughs> Ralph just having to fight the mold creatures in Mexico. 
I'm sure somebody can. I'm sure somebody can throw it up. Um, did you want to? I'm, I'm trying to circle my way. There's so many people. I'm going to try to circle my oh, way. Oh yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I did just want to just want to go in here to say, Ashton, Ashton, oh God, the baby Ashton, I can feel it kicking. I'm going to keep that alive. Uh, just I hope everyone does. One of the funniest fucking things. <laughs> oh, the baby! Oh God, his little feet. I can feel him kicking. <laughs> all right, man. Well, you take it easy. <laughs> you too, buddy. Thanks for all the content, all the years, man. Yeah, yeah, take it easy.